Well, hello everybody. My name's Ian, uh, this is my shed, and you're welcome to come in in a minute. However, and this is, I've already done the video, and then I was reminded that I was dedicating this video to a, a lovely lady, and that would be Matt Griffith's mother. Her name's Diane. I call her Glenda. I call her Glenda because she calls me a Yorkshire man. And uh, I think that the Welsh, I think they've got a trouble between Lancashire lads and Yorkshire lads. Like Fred Dibner, he's from Lancashire and he'll say like, uh, do you like that? Anyway, and York, I can't do Yorkshire men, they do like Tetley T, something like that. Anyway, to Diane Griffiths, Yaki Da. And I hope you like my show tonight. And that was a Welsh accent, by the way. Now, you're a lovely woman. I was pleased to meet you the other night on uh, Mark Stones' uh, stream with, with, with your son, Matt. Anyway, do that. I always keep a promise. Right, back to the, uh, well, back to the Friday finds and the, uh, the birds. See you later. Bye, Diane. Ready to go to work on a wet, miserable day. And uh, looking at the window to see my wife be waving me off. And what's that else? On top of the roof. Well, sometimes life is just beset with tiny problems. One of the lads has just said to me, Ian, can you bring, a, bring some of the uh, brackets in? I'm like, yeah, where are they? Can you bring that bag outside? Look at the two pallets. There's the two pallets, there's the bag. Just that I've got one tiny problem. Scrap Kingdom, just for you. Look at the size of that box section. Wow, it's definitely chunky. Definitely chunky. Ah, you yeah. not as chunky as all that steel out there, is it? Here we go, here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, my name's Ian, you know that. We'll go into the shed in a minute. Ah, typical wet, rainy, miserable Friday. Typical English weather. I keep getting my eye, I, I, I keep looking my eye on that skip over there. Although I can see something shiny about there. Ah. I don't think it's worth going over and having a look. Ah, look at this, it's raining, it's chucking it down, it's nasty. Let's go into the shed. Ah, at least it'll, uh, I don't have to water the plants. So what are we up to in here? Well, ah, if you watch long enough, you'll know that uh, I sat on my stool and I broke it. So, uh, I had the saw out the other day and I've cut myself some fresh wood and I'm going to replace that leg. I know I could easily knock up another one. That's not the challenge. The challenge is the last time I made a mortise joint was in woodwork class 1974. 
four. It might have been 75. But that was a long time ago. And uh, I don't know what you'd call that one. An open mortise joint. And a corresponding piece. Uh, a half lap joint. See, no all my woodworking terms. I've been working on that too, but that's another video. Uh, where are we up to? Okay. Work our way into this into the shed. We'll quick look at the PC first of all. There's still Jeff and John cooking up a storm. Scrapping Irish is still trying to get all the gold out of things. And then I just clicked on to see how my, uh, my latest video was doing. I thought, well, you people might want to, you might be interested in this. The uh, YouTube analytics. Okay. So, according to this, we've had 818 views since I put it up on the 1st of July. It's now the 3rd of July. Okay. Uh, I know it's had 80 comments. That's what... And I appreciate every one of those comments. Uh, interestingly enough, it says that browse features is 65% and only 17.4% from notifications. I, I don't trust these analytics. The way I look at it is say, look, I put that up uh, and I think it was in the middle of uh, Scrapping Irish uh, video just after he went off at 10 o'clock I think so straight up on the way 161 views 137 79 and it drops off to today uh, four today is to today two views so it's waning in popularity however that's not the reason I'm on and that's not the reason why I do this is that 880 people and my friends on YouTube who are watching me seeing what I get up to in my shed. Uh, what else have we got? Reach, audience, audience, revenue. Go on, click on that. 73 pence. So for 815 views, it reckons estimated 73p. Don't know what that means. I think that's the rate at which they're paying. £2.79 whatever per per mil. Oh, the established average gross revenue per thousand playbacks on which ads was shown. Uh, I don't trust it. Let's go to whatever. That's That's then. That's for tonight, but it's a Friday, and uh, we've got some work to do. I did pick up some stuff this week. I just came home and threw it in the base of this other wood burner I'm going to be on to. Now, I can't tell her why. That last video, the banged up bottle, did me a favour on... Wednesday night I paid a visit to somewhere and he, he, he watches me on YouTube he said I've seen your uh, your banged up bottle video he said uh, he says I thought I'd have a, I thought I would have a go he says but I was going to do it different I was going to put a door in he said I never got round to it so he said, you can have this if you want, if you can do something with it. He says, I know you can do something with it because I've seen your video where you took uh, your top arch he says, and you put it inside and, and welded it back up. Well, it wasn't like this. I've cleaned it all up. It was still had paint on it. And I'm like, well, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this one. As I did with that one. 
so quite a little so Brucey boldest for me that really uh, somebody's done most of the work for me you know they've taken the top off they've cut the bottom off they filled it full of water it expurged all the gas saved me an hour or two of my time but uh, we said that more about what did I actually find I think what we've got here is a little bit of a, a workshop clear out uh, the biggest thing was this uh, hydraulic jack which doesn't jack in fact you could say it does jack shit but uh, I'll probably just get me demonetarised got a I'll just throw that up there kingdom style I saw this box I picked it up it's shiny if you see it shiny it's either aluminium or stainless steel and that is stainless steel so we've got a bunch of stainless steel kind of a uh, a clasp thing some chain always quite handy and some worn drill bits in particular that one is discoloured at the end it's actually it's actually blue straw so that's been well overheated got an angle grinder which I have already plugged in it does work I'll just prove it to you right it's got a broken handle the uh, it's got the kind of a safety switch thing mechanism it's seems to be all right the thing about this though and I think the reason it got thrown away that is that is on solid it uh, there was actually a key here anyway now carry on a bit of six milli or eight milli stud bar always handy oh another drill bit uh, you know a mastic gun a 60 32 amp three phase mounted socket so that'll be some brass in there There's some part worn discs which are handy for me and i think what you need to worry about these though is with the bigger discs that have been worn down to a smaller size because you can't i can just read it there 12 This is the only one that's got one on. Oh, there, there go. 12,250 revs per minute. Okie doke. That's fine. That means they come off a 5 inch or a high speed angle grinder. If you just pick up something a bit bigger. That's only 8,500 uh, revs a minute. Now if you was to put something like that onto something that went at 12,000, there is a danger that it could break up. It's got a couple of lithium ion batteries, don't know what they fit. It says fine on them. F E I N. Some copper, winner, winner. As I said, there's the handle to that, but it, it, it it's broken off. Hey, a Cronflex. 
and that's a Makita. That's a Makita, and that's Black and Decker. And that is off is much smaller hole than that. So that's off a four inch. I'll be off a four inch gr angle grind. Belt. Bit of cable. Right. Valve grinding compound. Silicon carbide grease. Uh, one half of a tangle blade. A bit more tooling. Keys. That one is too big. That one fits right. So I'll have a go at getting that off afterwards. Well, nozzles, another nozzle, some more drill bit, big bolt. And what I did get was two DTIs. Now these are going to want a good clean because you press that button and it doesn't return the thing sticking but uh, there is a guy called Double Boost and he I did a, a little series of videos with a guy who showed you how to clean these that's one thousandth of an inch and that unfortunately so dirty I can't see the uh, what the measurements are not the drill bit what and uh, a Morse one taper drill bit so it's an interesting selection of bits of bits <laughs> pun intended so a strange collection of stuff indeed I actually drove past a washing machine and a tumble dryer at the side of the road today on the way home but the garage is full I didn't like driving past it and leaving it there but I'll make more money on that than I will do stripping and making three pounds out of a washing machine look at the size of that, that's a right sogger that isn't it you know Fred Dibner would like that, he'd be saying, look at that one, do you like that, do you like that? Yeah, I met Fred Dibner a couple of times, uh, I think that just reminded me, one of the people I used to deal with, I still deal with now and again, is a company called Thomas Smith Fasteners, and a small fastener company, they actually make nuts and bolts and with Fred doing uh, his steam engines he used to frequent Thomas Smith fasteners and he'd give them something really unusual and say I want one of them and they'd make it for him uh, he also used to uh, uh, do I put this give them free publicity and he'd do He'd be at the shop and they'd have an open day on a Friday uh, and Fred would be there and they'd put bacon butties on and people would come in and have a chat to him. Uh, that was after he'd done his television series. Although I knew him before he even started his television series, to be honest. Uh, aye, that, was a, that guy was a, a legend in his own right. Right, enough of that, okay, uh, I'll catch you lot in another vid, which will probably be this one. So I need to make me way out of here without falling, without tripping up over that. Okay, ah, oh, there's that steel plate, oh look, a little bit of rust coming on it. Right. What was my next video likely to be? There'll be files gone. Oh, there's me. Right, I made 
a while back, put it on the community tab, this uh, camper van. And the thing about this is, it's probably an hour and a half footage of how I made that. And that's what I'm struggling in to try now to put it in. Yeah, I'm struggling a little in editing that. An hour and a half footage, you're not going to watch that, are you? Well, I hope you will. But, I mean, it's uh, 15 minutes I hear sends people to sleep at night, helps them to drop off. So, hour and a half, where the hell you'll be like Rip Van Winkle, or Rumpelstiltskin, one of them. Hang on. One had Rumpelstiltskin, is that the one who had, she had long hair? Stuck, threw it out of a tower? Or is that Sleeping Beauty? Ah, forget it, I don't know. It's a long time since uh, I did uh, nursery rhymes. Furry tales. <laughs> forget it. So, uh, anyway, listen. How do you want it? Three parts, 20 minutes each. I, can, I should be able to cut an hour and a half down. Three parts, 20 minutes. No, that'll ruin my channel. Four parts, 15 minutes as an hour. Should be able to edit it down to an hour. All right, I'm off. See you soon.